Jensen, NVIDIA is making a $100 billion investment in OpenAI and working together to build out, I think you're saying, 10 gigawatts of capacity uh, over several years. The investment's going to come with the gigawatts, one at a time. You're telling me, you guys, as quickly as you guys can get it done. Jensen, first of all, set the stage. Why? This is the biggest AI infrastructure project in history. This is the largest computing project in history. Well, the reason for that is because computing demand is going through the roof for OpenAI. You know, ChatGPT is a, the, the single most revolutionary AI project in history. It's uh, being used everywhere, every industry, every country. Um, every person, practically, that I know uses ChatGPT. The computing demand is going through the roof. And so this partnership is about building an AI infrastructure that enables AI to go from the labs into the world. This is about the AI industrial revolution arriving. Yeah. It's a very big deal. Uh, $100 billion, a lot of money. Sam, Greg, you guys are used to dealing with a lot of money in big projects. So, Sam, I think it was just eight months and a day ago, the initial Stargate announcement talking about the overall move that OpenAI is making in building out this capacity. Where does this fit? So as, as Jensen said, building this infrastructure is critical to everything we want to do. Without, without doing this, we cannot deliver the services people want. We can't keep making better models. And now that we really see what's on the near-term horizon of how good the models are getting, the new use cases that are being enabled, what people want to do, this is like the fuel that we need to drive improvement, um, to drive, uh, drive better models, to drive revenue, everything. So this is, this is helping us get to a world, along with our partners at Stargate, Microsoft, Oracle, where we can build out increasing amounts of infrastructure to deliver on what the world is demanding out of these services. Uh, there's like no partner but NVIDIA that could do this at this kind of scale, at this kind of speed. It's, it's really like quite, quite incredible. Um, but this will, this will expand on the Stargate ambitions and let us push further and further. We have found every step along the way that we did not quite set our sights big enough given the market demand. So this will help us push towards that next level. The compute constraints that the whole industry has been in, our company in particular, have been terrible. Um, we're so limited right now in the services we can offer. There's so much more demand than what we can do. And, and as we look forward another year or two years, if you have you know, let's say it takes 10 gigawatts of compute or 5 gigawatts of compute. You could choose one of two things. You could choose to cure cancer by doing a bunch of, having AI do a bunch of research, or you could choose to offer free education to everybody on Earth. No one wants to make that choice. And so increasingly as we see this, the answer is just much more capacity so that we can serve the massive needs and opportunity with this. Jensen, step back for me. I mean, a few days, you're, you're all over the place, literally. I mean, you're in the UK, I saw the white bow tie and all that, the tux. You look very nice. Yeah, you're here, it's very nice. Um, but you're also doing a lot of investments. The Intel investment announced last week, quite a bit smaller than this one, but seems significant also because it's weaving NVIDIA technology in the PCN data center level in a way that perhaps it wasn't before. Where do these kinds of investments fit in how do you think about the value of the ecosystem to NVIDIA? The Intel partnership is about recognizing that accelerated computing and AI's day has arrived. Remember, general purpose computing was invented practically 60 years ago. And for the last 60 years, we've been following that basic blueprint, that basic architecture, you know, to build the ecosystem, the computing ecosystem of the world. And so all of a sudden, accelerated computing's time has come, and we're fusing, if you will, the Intel architecture with the NVIDIA architecture to bring them into the world of accelerated computing and AI. So that, that's what that partnership's about. This partnership, I mean, this is, you know, monumental in size. There's never been an engineering project, a technical project of this complexity and this scale um, ever. And it really just says that AI uh, was in the early adopter phase in the labs and finally, it's breaking out into just about every single industry, every single use case we can imagine. It is very soon where every single word, every single interaction, every single image, video that we experience on, you know, in, through computers will somehow have been reasoned through or referenced by or generated by AI. It's going to be touched by AI somehow. So all of our computing experiences throughout the day, everywhere, in every industry, will be powered by AI. This, first te this is the first 10 gigawatts. It's, surely, it sounds like an enormous, uh, enormous undertaking, but there's no question that 
AI is transformational for every industry, but the important thing is the AI infrastructure will be everywhere and it will power computing experiences for everyone every day. And it's gonna be just everywhere. NVIDIA's investment of $100 billion into OpenAI and the return OpenAI is gonna be buying NVIDIA chips. And I will mention that as of market close today, the NASDAQ was up 0.7%, NVIDIA up 4%, and Oracle up 6%, which from my perspective was a pretty easy, maybe even a lazy reaction to the announcement, of course, NVIDIA is going to provide, call it 100 of the 300 in this cloud infrastructure spend that OpenAI is going to be spending with Oracle, that Oracle is going to go and return and buy NVIDIA chips. And so the substance, the probability of that big contract that was announced a couple of weeks ago from Oracle increased. And so that's why you see Oracle shares uh, respond at the high end of what uh, versus what NVIDIA did in the overall market. But I, I think that the key takeaway, the pressure point is, is much bigger than that. And rewinding is that the central question around AI has been how long is this gonna last? What inning are we in? It's usually the, in the context of hardware and sometimes in software and inference and physical AI. But the central question is how long will this last? And the first, the front end piece of that conversation is about hardware. And my sense is that the reason why this is such an important announcement is that by NVIDIA investing into OpenAI and effectively uh, creating more demand for data centers, more demand for cloud compute, more demand for AI inference and training, that uh, basically quickens the pace that all the other players are going to have to respond to. Uh, you saw the response that Elon had to a comment on X today that this was concerning that OpenAI that Nvidia was making this investment in OpenAI, and I think it it speaks to kind of this bar inching up. And if you look at uh, Nvidia's core customers, they have six core customers. One of them, Meta, has been very clear that they're going to be spending a lot, call it 45% plus in each of the next three years when it comes to capex. The other companies have had more modest expectations, Google, Amazon, Microsoft, talking about CapEx increasing at 7% next year. And so when I think about this announcement with NVIDIA and OpenAI, and it's staged over several years, but it, I think, ultimately speaks to this race, this arms race, this uh, bet that companies need to make. Either they need to play and meet each other more or less one for one when it comes to the AI race, or make an incredibly difficult bet to dial back some of that spending. Uh, that, of course, would have the reward of saving them tens or $100 billion a year. But if AI does uh, come to have the impact on the world that a lot of these companies and these leaders believe it will, they, uh, those companies that maybe don't keep up with uh, the, the AI spending pace May, force, may be forced to a very uncomfortable future that is diminished because they didn't invest enough into AI. And so big picture here, there's a lot of money getting thrown around. Oracle gave us a preview that this is gonna happen. Now we can better understand of how it comes to the table and ultimately it bumps up uh, the, the bar for the rest of big tech. And I'm gonna be listening in very close to what Microsoft, Amazon, and Google are going to say on their September earnings call about CapEx in 2026. I think that's going to be the best read uh, that we're going to have in terms of, at least in the near term, where we're at within this AI trade. Leave with one thought. Back in April, Satya Nadella from Microsoft said that AI is going to solve the world's most complex problems. And so far, AI has not done that. I think responding, chatbots, emails, uh, doing text, PowerPoints, images, all that's incredibly powerful, but it is far from the world's most complex problems. And if that is in the cards for AI in the future, I think that underscores how early we are.